think we have some late word of just arriving. And interrupt to bring this to you. Jeep Creep. What's going on, Jeep Creepers? What we got going today? Um, first of all, as you can see, the old waggies all nice and put to bed until it warms up. Uh, I didn't want to let her sit out in the open. Yeah, there's a garage behind me, but a little secret. I also have a 65 Mustang that I'm working on, so uh, that's in there. All right, what did we find today? We found bench seats out of an old school bus. This is out of a full-size uh, school bus. Um, I got two of them. They were free. And uh, they come in two pieces. That's the bench seat. It's pretty well padded. No cracks or anything. Oh, we got some we got some chewing gum under there. Bonus. Um, so yeah, they just mount to the rails. Um, they do have legs on one side, which I'll just uh, hack off. I think I'm gonna use the second seat for um, just like a seat in the garage and maybe another cart project in the future, but that's that. So the other thing I was missing is on my cart was the axle um, knuckle and wheel hub. I just, oh, that's backwards. simply just pops in there like that goes through put the nut on here and your wheel hub attaches to this side right and this is kind of cool it's got a a locking nut with a locking cotter pin okay So, this part simply attaches to your suspension, um, right through here. This slides over that, like that, and then this little guy ties in. Not sure if it's supposed to go above or below, we'll figure that out later. This is just to illustrate it. Your wheel hub, if you have one which you wouldn't in the front normally, but I'm I'm making an adapter because my wheels, they are 5.5 uh, inch bolt pattern and you can't buy 5.5 inch bolt pattern. I've looked everywhere. They're four inch, well, 110 millimeter to be exact, which is like 4.3 inch. Um, the rear, I found um, five and three eighths out of all sizes. I'm like, what in the heck, why? But that's what I found. Um, if anybody knows where you can get 5.5 inch, please let me know. That would be great. You can just put it in the comments. But anyways, I'm going to take a quarter inch piece of steel and have an adapter so it'll fit on the inside. Um, this needs to be drilled. These need to be drilled. Then on the opposite pattern with a 5.5 inch, that's going to be drilled. And that will, uh, I'll run regular bolts through maybe i'll weld in some studs i don't know how much i want to get involved with that but we'll see um and my, my wheels will fit the reason why i'm doing all that and going through all that headache is because my atv wheels that i found are much larger which i wanted and much cheaper uh you can find them i'm finding some for free uh or five bucks is the price that i've been paying so why not now, the bench seat. The bench seat uh, that I got from the school bus is gonna sit between this bar and this bar, which is 28 inches. The bench seats that I got are 38, so I'm gonna have a five inch overlap on each side, which is fine. Uh, from that bar to that bar is 12 inches. Uh, and the bench seats are 20, so I'm gonna have eight inches out a little bit. Um, this seat does slide back and forward. Uh, it does have a slide adjust. You can kind of see that silver rail right right there uh, that slides adjust it. Um, from that bar to that bar is 25. My seats are 30. 
So, I've got five inches I need to make up for, which I can do because these are already adjustable. So that's cool. Not five inches probably, but I'll make it work. I'll uh, probably slot it out a little more or something. We'll see how it fits in first. Still up to come. I'm going to use tubular bar like this is and um, create a subframe. Um, a little bit of welding's involved because I need to weld on some sort of attachment there uh, on the end of the pipe. And then my suspension, I need to weld some wings on it to attach or ears or whatever you call it. It's kind of weird. It does have two different mount points on that wing, which is kind of strange. Um, maybe I'll use that for something. Let me think about that one. Uh, and then my axle going across, I'm going to need to do some wings. I haven't decided if I'm going to use like the pillow block style or uh, what's called a hanger style uh, yet. Maybe the hanger style, I haven't used those yet before. My other project, my bumper car project uses the pillow block style and I do like those. They're just relying on bolting in versus being all welded. So. I guess it's kind of a preference thing, an application thing, with, you know, whatever setup you got. But, uh, yeah, that's that update. All right, what a mess, but here we go. Wheels, wheels, wheels. So these two wheels I bought just because um, they came as a set. Uh, these are the rear, kind of small. What I really wanted were these babies. These are going to be my front wheels. 5.5 inch bolt pattern. They are uh, R101 size, which I love. Oh wait, there we go. That's probably the rim, maybe, I don't know. But they're 22, which is how tall they are. Seven, which is the width of the tire uh, tread pattern. And 10 is the, the wheel size. So these aren't typical go-kart wheels, which is awesome. I wanna be up and off the ground. Um, that tire was free. The lady had another one that's got a really cool aggressive track on it. It's like brand new. They never used it. It doesn't match anything. And uh, I paid five bucks for that just uh, just for the heck of it. So I technically have two sets of wheels here. Um, and then these you've seen already. You can see how wide these bad boys are. They got good track on them. Um, and then this is already going a little bit flat, but it's all right, because I didn't put any air in it. Um, these are 25, uh, again, the height, so I'm gonna have a little bit of a rake, three inch rake there, uh, by 12 wide, nice and wide. And uh, that's a nine inch wheel on this one. So let's see, the other wheel was a 10, so that's a two inch rake that I have, instead of a three inch rake, because the wheel size is different, I believe, uh, if I'm doing my calculations right. Uh, this has got a little bit of green paint on it, but I'm just going to polish that out. I love the gold. I have a Yamaha Warrior, a four-wheeler, and uh, I just love gold wheels. So these, you know, I'll probably paint gold as well, I guess, to match. I don't know yet. I'll probably, for now, just leave it silver. And I just need to polish. You can see the paint scratching off already, um, the green. So I'll take that off. Um, the uh, axle hub that I have for the you know, the rear wheel axle hub I have. I tried to five a 5.5 inch. Uh, I don't think they exist for go-kart applications. They're for four wheelers. Um, and I, I couldn't find them. So if, if anybody knows where to get them, hey, that's great. You know, shoot me a comment in the link and uh, this will save you a lot of trouble in the future. So the ones that I got, instead of being 5.5 inch, they're five and three eighths. So I am going to use my um, uh, axle hub, which uh, right here. There you go. I don't know if I showed these yet, but this, uh, on this side, as you can see, it's one inch and then it steps down to, to a three quarter inch. Um, so you just slide these over your axle and then you can see the keyway you just put in a little key there to lock it 
and then uh, your nut goes on that side and that holds it to the axle and then these are your studs that go to your wheel uh, again this is five and three eighths um, i bought these from gopowersports.com check them out uh, they're the only ones that i found that had anything bigger uh, that came close but no cigar but that's fine so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna use this as a pattern and drill out these wheels for the, the right size um, that's the only way I could have thought to do it. I looked into using like a uh, wheel adapter, but they're aluminum, they're, they're, they're for cars, people that do them custom, they're too expensive. I didn't want to spend $100 on just adapting this one. I can just drill four new holes and call it a day. It's just too much. For the fronts, the uh, guy I found on eBay is selling discs. Um, discs in varying widths. So I'm using quarter inch steel and uh, I'm get, trying to get a quote from him. The discs are like $7 plus shipping, which is like three bucks or something like that. So it's not, they're not too expensive. I gotta see what the quote is for the drilling. Uh, I do have a drill press. Boom. I could do the drilling myself, but if he has a machine shop and especially for the center um, one, it needs to be two inches. So um, to accommodate the, the nut for the axle. And I don't have a bit that big. Uh, these are going to be hard to drill too because I need a bit that is, oh god, what, eight, ten inches, something like that. Uh, my buddy does have one, so I'm just going to borrow it from him to do the drilling. So that saves me on that because that's an expensive bit. Um, oh yeah. Let's see. <laughs> All right, so let's look at all the free stuff I got from them, which was really awesome for them to send to me. Um, I got a ton of stickers here, so let's see what we got. Um, okay, so we got a couple of the, you know, Go Power Sports logos. It's pretty cool. Um, so we got um, this one I like a lot. I think I'll use this one on the uh, the card itself when it's done. It's uh, one of their logos. This one is really cool too. Um, this is like an Ed Roth style um, drawing sticker, which is cool. So I'll be definitely using that. Let's see what else I got here. Oh, this one is really cool. This one matches my shirt, which I'll uh, I'll show you here in a second. Um, it's one of their really fancy logos. This is a cool one here as well. It's like a mini bike. Let's see what else I have. Oh, yep, and then there's their GPS logo. Um, well, that's pretty cool, so you will see what else we got. Mm, oh, a couple buttons um, with the, the other logo on it, which is super cool. Nice little extra bonus. So, uh, thanks a lot, guys. I really appreciate the, the free swag. And, uh, yeah, giving a shout-out to GoPowerSports.com. They have everything you need for karting needs, uh, UTVs, go-karts, minibikes, you name it. They got it, Chinese quads. Um, it's uh, It's been pretty useful. Thanks, guys. I just wanted to... Whew, it is chilly out here. It's December, or January, and it's like 20 degrees. So, quick. But, nice little Go Power Sports shirt. It's got a cool... Pocket T. Um, it's a GPS racing in there. It's got a cool armband there. And here's the real star of the show. Look at this. Isn't that just beautiful? I absolutely love that. It's got kind of an old school vintage look. And uh, just freaking awesome. So, I like them a lot. 